has just finished off a great hunt to get with dad. Okay, just got back to the hut. With my trip down to the South Island done and dusted, I was back up to the North Island for a week chasing Seeker Deer with the old man. It is always a great feeling rocking up to Heli Seeker with your bags packed, and before you know it, the chopper is loaded and you're heading for the hills. The plan of this trip would be to hunt a private block of a hut that Dad and I have hunted previously. However, as the tussock and beech forest of the Klamanara Ranges flash below the chopper, thoughts of what the week will bring start racing through the mind. Will the stags be roaring? And I hope we're not too early. With clear skies, the chopper ride is smooth, and before we know it, we're on the chopper pad and the gear has been unloaded. As the distant hum of the chopper disappears, Dad and I are left to see what the week will bring. Okay, day one, we have just choppered in. Um, here with the old man. It's been five years since we've had a hunt together, so stoked to be in here with him. And the weather has turned it on. Weather's looking good. Hopefully the stags are roaring. And um, yeah, stay tuned for seven days chasing Seeker in the Kaimanawas. Let's go. A quick check and unpack of the gear in the hut. And I'm soon itching to get out and check out the country. The hunting gear is donned and I'm soon out on the beach searching for seeker sign. It is not long before I'm rewarded with fresh sign. The hunt is on. So it's not long before I have a seeker stag single calling. I slowly close the gap with the eyes peeled. Oh, I don't think I had that on camera. Okay, first day. And Staggy's down, there's single calling. Um, yeah, I don't know how he is. Looks like he's got a bit of length, but not sure, it's just through there.
Okay, first afternoon hunt and yeah, first seeker stag on the deck. Uh, just been sidling through, came across a couple fresh scrapes, let out a single call. This guy responded pretty much instantly and then he, hopefully I got on video, he then did his territory call or the hee haw. Um, and then I let out another single call and it all went quiet and then I just caught him coming down the ridge line. Um, I actually thought he was a little bit bigger but this will be a perfect animal for camp meet for the week. Um, seems like he's in reasonable condition so we'll get these back stakes out, grab the back legs. Shot, it should have been a shoulder shot but we'll have a little look-see. But yeah, great way to start the, start the trip. Ah, uh, yeah, just great to be back in the Kaimanoas, beautiful beach forest. I've heard a few hee hawing this morning. I mean, I've heard a few hee hawing this afternoon. But yeah, very cool. Great little stag. Okay, loaded up on the way back up to, to camp. Uh, Why does he hoard in the next ridge over? We'll leave him for another day. I'm single calling my way up the hill, so carry on up. Hey, hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh no, cool. Pressure's off. Pressure's off. Yeah. Okay, just got back to the hut. Be with the old boy. Six stag on the deck and day one, so good start. Hopefully they start kicking into gear and um, really get going, but yeah, great way to start the trip. Okay, so for those that are interested, the rifles that we're we'll running for this trip, uh, I'll be running the Sarko 75 Hunter um, in 308. It's running a little pod of uh, VX1 3x9x40, got the Bush Edge scope cover on, and got a DPT suppressor on it. And Dad will be running the Sarko 75 Finlight. Uh, this one here is in 7 mm weight. It's running a VX3 little pod 4.5x14 by 50 mil. Once again, running the Bush Edge scope cover and also a DPT uh, suppressor. So those will be the rifles we'll be using this trip. Um, you need it tomorrow or a bit whatever. So it looks bloody good. Um. <laughs> okay, day two. Uh, just up along the ridge line. A bit foggy today. A bit more of a wind coming through. And very quiet, nothing heard. Even a little bit of drizzle now. But yeah, just keep moving along this ridge line roaring. We'll see what we can find. covering plenty of country for the morning I finally get onto a seeker stag single calling and start moving in
realizing that the seeker stag was not moving, I start to close the distance. It's often a hard decision to make, to stay put or to close the distance. After waiting a fair while, I realised that the sky was not moving. So yeah, I continued to move in. So I worked out he was in the gully in front of me. So I negotiated the bush lawyer and continued to move in. So I get my first sight of the stag on the opposite side of the galley. I also then notice a hind feeding away just below him. Deer unaware of my presence and the wind in my face, I decide to try and get my camera out to get some video footage. What ends up to be a bit of a shambles with the camera and very minimal footage.
and end up just pulling out my phone and getting a little bit of footage. Before the stag, steps into a clearing and I manage to take the shot. Okay, so I've just managed to take this 6.6 .6 stag. Uh, he was roaring well, holding hinds, and got a little bit of footage. And yeah, yeah, stoked. Um, second stag for the trip, and yeah, awesome hunt. Um, it was in the thick shit, but that's often where we tucked up, but yeah, wrapped. Okay, game plan once again, bone him out. Take his head off and head on up. So there's another one single calling further down the valley. But yeah, anyway, I'll get this guy sorted and then head on back to camp. Drop it. Day three dawned and it was time for Dad and I to get out together. The plan was to hunt the ridge lines roaring down and just covering country. So we cruised along, roaring away along, with very little response. A few hee haws heard in the distance. But it was great just to cover some country with the old man in some beautiful bush. We spent the day just cruising around, having a few cup of breaks and just enjoying what the Kaimanawas had to offer. And it's funny how a game plan comes together, with the death march back to the hut after a full day on the hill. Things can change so quickly, and before we knew it, we were in on the action. Yes? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's not so nice. Oh shit, it's nice. It's a nice fix. It's a nice even yeah, so. Just a little, little guy. Good on you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Okay, well, that has just finished off a great hunt to get with Dad. Um, we've been out all morning, all day. It's Two o'clock now, super quiet, haven't seen or really heard another animal. 
and we're pretty much just coming up along the ridge line heading back towards the hut been single calling our way along and then all of a sudden this guy let a little call off he was coming down the ridge wind was in our face um, and yeah we managed to take him so awesome <laughs> it's been uh, we're just talking about it. it's been a while since we've been on a on a hunt together and let alone got an animal yeah, together so uh, very cool awesome very cool. <laughs> uh, we'll get this guy butchered up and head back to the hunt for a beer I reckon <laughs> <laughs> nice Yep. Good walk, old boy. Okay, day four, new country, new sign. As I popped up onto a settle, I sat back and let out a few single calls. It wasn't long before I heard a twig snap, so I peeled the eyes, and before long, I saw a little spiker sneaking through. It's amazing how quiet these guys can appear and disappear. So always take the time, sit back, and just let the eyes and ears do the work.
So while checking out the scrapes, I heard a distant single call. I sold it around to approximately where I thought it was and sat and waited. Okay, so I've just managed to take this five pointer. It's been a big day. Um, covered a fair bit of country, got a bit of footage of a spiker, a four pointer, and then just been heaps of sign coming up this hill. Um, and then we had a few roars, and this guy replied. And then he's just coming in for a look. And I to see, I saw the tops, and I thought he was an eight, but only a five. But yeah, cool five. Very cool. good. 1.40 in the afternoon. Beautiful day today. And yeah, we'll get this guy sorted and then start moseying back to towards camp. See how dad's got on. So, very cool. full day of hunting and the wind's nice a little bit of low cloud and yeah gonna see what we can get onto today but yeah let's cruise along and see what we can find starting to come across a few little scrapes not too much a few rubbings It's not the best, but I'm getting around this ridge to drop into a little uh, catchment, which the wind should be in my favour. Okay, quite different bush, buckle undergrowth, bit of sign, and the wind's in my face. All super quiet, but yeah, let's keep ticking along. Got some scrapes below.
She's still squealing away. Just keep on the old corner. size wallow. Yeah, I'm going to follow up this ridge line. Plenty of sign. Scrape down below me. Wind. Not the best. But we'll see. Plenty of activity. Let's see if he's kicking around. I did hear us. He or over here maybe an hour ago. hunted long and hard for the day. However, with little roaring, I only managed to get eyes on this young four-pointer that came in for a look. He was safe for another day, and that was going to wrap up my hunting for this trip. Okay, unfortunately the weather has not played the game and we are in the hut for another night. So, got on track meals, so I'm gonna go for a slow cooked Australian steak and we're also gonna go for, I think it's the bolognese. So, food to keep us going and hopefully the weather is better today. We only have about a half an hour window of clear and it's clagged back in again today. So, the risk you run, but I can think of worse places to be. So, dinner, bed, and then see what tomorrow brings. Okay, so we're waking up to a glorious day today. So it looks like we will be getting out. So packing the gear, get it at the chopper pad, and then play the old waiting game. But, looking good. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, please subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.